Right guys, welcome back to another match vlog. Today we are slightly closer to home as we are in London for the last 16 Champions League tie between AC Milan and Tottenham Hotspur. I'm so excited for this game. I don't think I've ever been to a Champions League knockout tie before. And despite living just outside London, I rarely go to stadiums in England. I went to Wembley to see Italy versus Austria and Spain at Euro 2020. I've seen Juve and Napoli at the Emirates and I was at Roma Leicester in the Conference League semi-final last year. And if you can't tell already, the weather is absolutely horrific. It's been snowing and raining all day. Now, Milan do come into this game in fairly good form, winning four of their last five, but they did suffer a disappointing loss against Fiorentina at the weekend. Now, Tottenham, on the other hand, have lost four of their last six, including that 1-0 loss to Milan at the San Siro. Also, for any of you wondering, I am cheering on Milan tonight, despite being a Juve fan. I always want the Italian teams to do well and progress in Europe. Europe for the good of Serie A and Italian football. However, I am sitting in the Tottenham section of the stadium, so I won't be celebrating if Milan win. I thought that Milan did okay in the first leg. They defended extremely well. Chow was outstanding. But I do worry tonight that Tottenham are just going to raise their game and their intensity and really put it on Milan. And it's just a question of whether Milan can deal with that intensity. And from what I've read this morning, Ben Asser will not start the game tonight, despite playing 65 minutes at the weekend and Krunic will take his place. I'm not in love with the idea of Ben Asser not starting, but he is just coming back from injury. And to be fair to Krunic, I actually thought he played really, really well in the first leg. But obviously he just doesn't come near to Ben Asser in terms of quality. Okay, so I've just arrived at the stadium now. The atmosphere is slowly starting to build. More and more people are coming. But one thing I must say, this stadium is absolutely ridiculous. Like, it, it is actually breathtaking. You can see it's magnificent. Like I said, the only issue we might run into is the fact that I bought my ticket on a resale website. So we've just got to hope that it's valid and I can actually get into the stadium. Big, big dub, we're through. The ticket works, come on. Yeah, this might be the best stadium I've ever been to. I remember someone saying a while ago that there's not a bad seat in the stadium. And I'm in probably one of the worst seats. I'm right in the corner, right at the top. And the view is absolutely outstanding. So the starting lineups have just come out. As predicted, no Ben Affair for Milan. Krunic starts in midfield with Tonali and Diaz. It's gonna be really, really tough tonight. It's gonna be really tough. But I believe Milan can get through. And with that hope, I think it's gonna be a 1-1 one -one draw tonight. Okay, so half-time thoughts from the toilet and it's been a pretty poor game so far. But from a Milan perspective, they're doing well, they're defending well. Tottenham haven't really looked dangerous at all, but similarly, nor have Milan. Uh, Giroud's been quite poor, Leal's been quiet, though he has been making some good runs off the ball. Chow has been a monster again, I think he's dealt with Kane really, really well up until now. So yeah, if they can keep this up for another 45 minutes, they should be into the quarters.
And there we have it, Milan nil, Tottenham nil. Milan go through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. I thought Milan played really, really well tonight. They defended magnificently. Those four at the back, uh, Menyon, Chow, Kalulu and Tamori were like a brick wall. All four of them were outstanding. Tonali was brilliant in midfield and a lot of people give stick to Krunic, but again, I thought he was brilliant again. And then Ben Asseya came on and he was absolutely class. But yeah, overall, I felt like that was quite an easy performance from Milan. I mean, Tottenham really didn't create anything at all. I mean, they had that chance at the end. I don't know who headed it, whether it was Kane. But apart from that, they, made, they created nothing. Back home now, and I've just had the chance to watch the game and the highlights back, and it was exactly how it felt in the stadium. It was so easy for Milan. Again, I really want to talk about that back four, and let's start with Menon. The difference he makes is just so, so vast. He instills so much confidence in that back line. And to be honest, if Tatarusanu was in goal, I'm not sure he makes that save against Kane at the end of the game. Kalulu was fantastic. Chow, again, was so, so good. He completely destroyed the best striker in the world, Harry Kane. And Tamori really stepped up to the occasion. After some really, really poor recent form and two horrible games against Chelsea, he was Milan's best player last night. One thing I will criticise Milan on, though, is their chance conversion. They had so many great chances in both legs, yet come away with only one goal. To put this into perspective, they had an expected goals of 3.33 over both games, yet come away with only one goal scored. You know, it's great that they're creating these chances, but against better teams, if you don't convert, it will come back to bite you. Luckily for Milan, though, on this occasion, Tottenham were awful. Overall, though, two very good and accomplished performances from Milan, and they make it into the quarterfinals of the Champions League. So, Napoli, Inter... It's your turn next. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in two weeks for the European qualifier between Italy and England in Naples.